From California State University in San Bernardino, this is Local Matters. Economy woes and a local attorney. Hello everyone, welcome to Local Matters featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. I'm Ruben Ropeza. And I'm Zachary Pauling. Gas prices, rent, and food costs. Everyone is feeling the pinch of the current economy. Reporter Alyssa Beck discovers who's affected. As inflation continues to rise, the prices of gas, food, and housing are making it difficult to have affordable living. Today we learn and hear from San Bernardino County residents how they feel about the ongoing situation. It's affected me a lot just because primarily gas um, and being able to commute different places takes a, a little bit of toll, um, especially when I have to take uh, my kids to do their extracurricular activities. It takes a, a lot of commuting, going back and forth, putting with the gas prices, it's a little crazy. Um, just feels like I constantly have to be putting gas and it's like I'm spending a lot. Um, so it makes it harder for when I want to do different activities outside of work um, or I want to be able to go somewhere, I kind of have to limit myself because then I'm spending more. Century 21 King real estate agent Alex Villasenor shares his views on how the housing market has been affected by inflation. It's a great market for an agent to be in real estate and then again, with the experience of 20 years in the market, I also understand no matter what market we're in, whether the market's down, whether it's up like it is now, a, a good, well-rounded real estate professional will always thrive in any market because it really comes down to the hard work and the dedication to their business. The recent upscale of our economy's inflation has been a real challenge for residents of San Bernardino County. However, there are some positives for those who are part of the housing market. For Local Matters, I'm Erica Quiros. You never know when you're going to need legal representation. One local attorney is determined to provide affordable access to the community. Reporter Jess Franco is on the case. I'm here at the law office of Vincent S. Hughes, a local minority attorney who focuses on criminal, family, and personal injury cases and looks to provide affordable services to inland-based residents who otherwise would not have access to the justice system. I'm trying to make sure that people know that there are a wide range of job opportunities in the legal field. I'm currently working on putting together a leadership academy for the youth of the Inland Empire. Um, it's a plan that I've been developing for some time now. I'm hoping to launch it early 2023 and it's going to provide access to youth to come in and learn about the legal environment, whether that's a career in the legal environment, whether it's a judge, an attorney, a police officer, a probation officer, or simply a court staff member at, such as a judicial assistant, a court clerk, or a receptionist. I stay engaged through making sure that I'm accessible to the community through answering phone calls myself rather than just relying upon office staff by staying up to date with social media posts and by making sure that I, I constantly update way to not think about the stresses of the day-to-day. -day. You heard it here first. In this field of work, it's all about helping the people. For Local Matters, I'm Jess Franco. To keep up to date with all of our content, follow us on our social media platforms. I'm Ruben Ropeza. And I'm Zachary Pauling. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.